of Kupiansk of Kharkov region, Sviatogorsk and Konstantinovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Moreover, 74 artillery units and fire on positions, manpower and military equipment in 195 areas were... Kementerian Pertahanan Rusia melaporkan kemajuan operasi militer khusus di Ukraina pada Sabtu 3 Desember 2022. Angkatan Bersenjata Federasi Rusia masih melanjutkan operasi militer khusus. Dalam arah Kupians, upaya musuh untuk menyerang Kuzemovka digagalkan oleh serangan pesawat tentara Rusia, tembakan artileri dan sistem tembakan berat, hingga 60 tentara Ukraina, 2 tank, kendaraan tempur infanteri, 3 pengangkut personel lapis baja, dan 4 truk pickup dihancurkan. Penerbangan tempur Angkatan Udara Rusia telah menembak jatuh satu pesawat Mi-8 Angkatan Udara Ukraina di dekat Selidovo, Republik Rakyat Donetsk. Sepuluh kendaraan udara tak berawak Ukraina ditembak jatuh oleh pasukan pertahanan udara di wilayah Golikovo, Republik Rakyat Luhansk, Peski, Kirilovka, Nikolskoye, Novotroitskoye, Yegorovka, dan Oligienka, Republik Rakyat Donetsk. Selain itu, delapan putaran HIMARS dan Olka MLRS dicegat di dekat Popasnaya dan Lisichans. The Russian Federation Armed Forces continue the special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, the enemy's attempt to attack Kuzemovka of Lugansk People's Republic was foiled by preemptive strikes by army aircraft, artillery fire and heavy firing systems. Up to 60 Ukrainian soldiers, two tanks, one infantry fighting vehicle, three armored personnel carriers and four pickup trucks were destroyed. In the Krasny Liman direction, an attempt by the Ukrainian armed forces to attack in the direction of Kolomichiha and Zhitlovka of Lugansk People's Republic has been thwarted. As a result of army aircraft and artillery fire, the enemy units were halted and dispersed. More than 30 Ukrainian personnel, two infantry fighting vehicles and three Kozak armored vehicles were destroyed. In the Donetsk direction, the Ukrainian armed forces made unsuccessful attempts to restore the position of their troops in the areas of Andreevka, Kurdumovka, Avdeevka and Marvinka of Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 60 Ukrainian personnel, two tanks and five armored fighting vehicles were destroyed in 24 hours as a result of the shelling. In the South Donetsk direction, the enemy attempted to counter-attack in the areas of Slatkoye, Shevchenko and Novomayorskoye in Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian units were halted by air strikes and artillery fire and pushed back to their initial positions. The enemy's losses in this direction amounted to up to 40 Ukrainian personnel killed and wounded. Two infantry fighting vehicles and five pickup trucks were destroyed. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery struck three enemy command posts in the areas of Kupiansk of Kharkov region, Sviatogorsk and Konstantinovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Moreover, 74 artillery units and fire on positions manpower and military equipment in 195 areas were engaged. Two temporary locations of foreign mercenaries were hit close to Kramatorsk of Donetsk People's Republic. One US-made AMTPQ-37 counter-battery radar station was destroyed near Kaliniki of Donetsk People's Republic. Two storage sites for missile and artillery weapons and ammunition for the Ukrainian armed forces have been destroyed near Tabayevka of Kharkov region and Primorskoye of Zaporozhye region. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one Mi-8 helicopter of Ukrainian Air Force near Salidovo of Donetsk People's Republic. Ten Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down by Air Defense Forces in the areas of Golikovo of Lugansk People's Republic, Pesky, Kurilovka, Nikolskoye, Novotroitskoye, Yegorovka and Dolginka in Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, eight Heimers and Olha MLRS projectiles were intercepted close to Popasne and Lysychansk of Lugansk People's Republic, Novopetrukovka, Volnovakha and Kuybyshevo of Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 336 airplanes and 178 helicopters, 2,609 unmanned aerial vehicles, 391 air defense missile systems, 6,970 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 908 Combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,652 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 7,450 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya.